Hi everyone, myself Dr. Kiran Kesi. I am a dermatologist working in Haldwani, Uttarakhand. So today, the topic of discussion is temporary hair loss, which is also known as telogen effect. In a normal person, usually there is 50 to 100 hairs lost in a day. But in case of telogen effluent, number of hair lost per day is more than 100. Broadly, the temporary hair loss okay, is classified into two types. One is acute telogen effluent, one is chronic telogen effluent. If the duration of the temporary hair loss is less than 6 months, then it is called as acute telogen effluent. If the duration of the hair loss is more than 6 months, it is called as chronic telogen effluent. Now let's understand the causes okay, of telogen effluent or temporary hair loss. First is diet, particularly crash diet, keto diet. Second is nutritional deficiency, particularly B12 and iron deficiency, even other micronutrient deficiency. Third is sudden weight loss. Fourth is mental stress. Fifth is pregnancy, childbirth. Sixth is menopause. Seventh is if you have recently suffered from severe health conditions such as typhoid, malaria or any other severe diseases for which you need to be hospitalized okay, for a period of uh, 7 to 10 days or take rest for a 7 to 10 days, okay, then this, cause, this causes temporary hair loss. Also chronic diseases thyroid, rheumatoid arthritis, connective tissue disorders, which are not under control. Okay. Finally, also post-surgeries. Post-surgery also, post-major surgeries also, you can have this temporary hair loss. Now, let's understand why you develop this temporary hair loss. To understand why you develop this temporary hair loss, you should understand about the hair cycle. Okay. Hair cycle already I have explained in detail, okay, in the previous video. I will attach the, uh, I'll attach the video in the description below, okay. Please see that video also. So, let me explain what is a hair cycle, okay. Hair cycle is nothing but the growth cycle of the hair, okay. Hair cycle is divided into four, four phases, okay. One is the anagen phase. Second is the catagen phase, third is a telogen phase, fourth is the exogen phase. Okay, anagen phase is the growth cycle. Okay, of the hair strands. Okay, in this phase, the hair grows in length. Okay, length and also it becomes thicker. Okay, it is the growth phase. Catagen phase is the transition phase between the anagen and the telogen phase okay whereas the finally the telogen phase is where the hair stops growing okay and stops becoming thicker and slowly loosens from the hair follicle okay and finally it falls off okay which is the exogen phase at any given time, okay, in a person, a normal person, 85 to 90 percent of the hairs are in the growth phase, okay, whereas 8 to 10 percent of the hairs are in the telogen phase, and only 1 or 3 percent of the hairs are in the catagen phase, okay. So, what happens is, okay. When all these causes, okay, severe diseases, chronic diseases, nutritional deficiencies, crash diets, as I already explained, suddenly weight loss, all these causes, okay, makes the hairs in the anagen phase, that the growth phase, most of the hairs to be converted into telogen, 
delusion has or the delusion phase. So once it is immediately fair, most of the hairs are converted into the delusion phase. Okay. After one to three months, because the delusion phase lasts for one to three months. So one to three months later, it falls off. This is the reason for the permanent hair loss. Okay. Now let's understand how it different from the permanent hair loss or a male pattern baldness. Okay. In case of male pattern baldness, okay, there is complete loss of the hair follicle. Okay. The hair follicle is completely lost. Okay. So only you are going to develop the bald patches. Okay. Whereas in telogen FUM, there is no such thing. Okay, the hair follicle is active, it is producing the hair. Okay, only thing that the hair strands which are grown from the hairs are converted, most of the hairs are converted into the telogen phase immediately. Okay, so this is the difference. Okay, and also in male pattern hair loss or androgenic alopecia. Since it is an aging process, you will be requiring treatment for a very long time. Very long time, I love, till you want to preserve your hairs. But it's temporary hair loss, once you find out the cause, okay, and you treat the hair loss, will be better. Maximum the treatment will be required for 6 months to 1 year, okay. It's not for always, okay, to maintain your hairs, not like that, okay. So now once again, uh, let's, what is the effect of this temporary hair loss or telogen FUR when it coexists with any of the permanent, permanent hair loss that is male pattern baldness or female pattern baldness. What is the effect? Okay. So now first effect is if already if the patient has male pattern baldness or androgenic alopecia or female pattern baldness. Okay then if the temporary hair loss is present along with that or telogen FUM is present along with that it can make the hair loss okay or male pattern to progress rapidly okay second thing it can also make okay particularly a person who has a temporary hair loss who has developed a temporary hair loss if he does not has any of the features of the permanent hair loss or male pattern baldness. Okay, but in him, the temporary hair loss is there for a long time. Okay, long time, matlab, more than six months. Matlab, it, he has gone to a chronic telogen effusion phase. Okay, the second classification, chronic telogen effusion. It's not treated. It's temporary hair loss is not treated. Then, what will happen is in most of the patients what I have my personal observation is the male pattern hair loss or female pattern hair loss tends to appear at an earlier age okay so it's very important to treat your temporary hair loss don't make the temporary hair loss to become a chronic delusion of you matlab last for a long time Uh, one more thing uh, sometimes you might have absorbed okay if you have any of the severe illnesses okay particularly malaria typhoid okay or dengue okay or any diseases for which you have to be hospitalized okay for the period of seven days to ten days okay but you immediately don't develop a hair fall or post surgery to uh, major surgery you immediately don't develop a hair loss but after one or three months you develop a hair loss this is because if the hair when it is converted into telogen phase for usually the telogen phase lasts for two to three months yeah one to three months so immediately even though it is converted okay because of the cause okay it does not fall off immediately it takes two to three months so the effect of the causes usually takes time for you to absorb okay 
So usually you develop after two to three months. This is the reason. So please visit your dermatologist if you have increased hair fall. If you're finding the amount of hairs which are usually falling is more, if it is more than 100, please visit. Okay, it can be completely treated. Okay, thank you. Okay, please like and sh please like, share and subscribe. Wait for the next videos. Thank you.